Hello everyone, this is Mumbo and welcome back to another episode on the Hermit Craft server. It's episode 147 and today we are starting things off in my base area because today's episode, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be quite interesting. I've I've kind of been thinking about this over the past couple days. I want to do a little bit of experimentation with the base itself. Now, I'm not 100% certain what we're actually going to be doing today in regards to the actual builds. That's why the word experimenting is being thrown around. But hopefully, it should lead to me having some more vertical height in my base. Because right now, it's a little bit of a pancake. But before we do any of that stuff, I'm actually going to be running over to the gaming district. Because I have heard the news that Exuma has popped over and done a little bit of decorating over by my mini theme park and I really want to see what it looks like. I always forget with the gaming district that it's so much faster for me to fly over there from my base than it is to go in the nether. The gaming district is probably about 100 blocks away from my central platform but <laughs> it's probably about a 250 block round trip to actually get to the nether port. Anyway, here we are and yeah, that looks really, really cool. So by the look of things... Exuma has actually come by and he's taken out that zone so we now have some orange going on here whereas before that was like a little plaza type thing and now we have the same red floor and it's just wrapping around like this. That looks fantastic. That's brilliant. I wonder I wonder if anyone's played any of the games yet. I'm imagining probably not. Oh, Exuma's got 12 points. Okay, so Exuma Exuma's had a little bit of a go. And it looks like he's got 12 points there and hasn't played this one. All right, well, I feel like I should try and beat his scores. I'm going to chuck my items in a chest, which we should really put an items chest in here. And then we can give these things a go. And three, two. Yep, just, just, just eat something. One. And let's start this. <laughs> okay, so we need to pick up these things. That was not the best start. I think we need to get a little bit closer. Oh my word, I'm doing terribly. <laughs> this is so much more difficult than I thought it was going to be. Okay, there we go. That's one. That's two. What just happened then? But I still managed to score a point. Uh, okay. Oh my word, I so thought that was going in. This is so difficult. All right, that's the point. That's got to be one. Oh, there we go. Okay, I'm finding a bit of a rhythm here. <laughs> this is such a fun game. Oh, no. So I'm, I'm kind of fresh out of time. I suppose I should launch in the remaining basketballs. What, what keeps happening there? So there we go. That's it. Now let's see what score we got. Ten! No! We, we lost! Oh, that is so embarrassing. I've been beaten at my own game. Mumbo. Ten points. Ah, oh, it's not good. So I just had a go at my reaction time game and it turns out my randomizer was built incorrectly so only two options were available. That should now be fixed and rewired. So let's give this a go too. And start. I'm nervous for this one. Okay, missed that. Definitely missed that. Oh my word, okay. Nope. <laughs> missed that. I missed that too. That maybe that's a point. I've got a point. I've got a point. Oh come on! <laughs> come on! Yes, okay, that was definitely a point. That was that was lightning fast. That's got to be one. Okay, two points. Maybe that was one. Oh my word, my reaction time is so terrible. And my aim is just horrendous. It's so bad. Oh, did you just see that? That was terrible. Come on! I've, I've literally, I've got myself into the mindset of being awful. I didn't, I didn't even hit the button that one. Oh, it's so terrible. <laughs> How can someone be this bad at pressing buttons? 
Oh, come on. That's gotta be one. Maybe. Just give me something. We scored four points. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I guess that is one for the record books, even if it is super embarrassingly bad. Yeah, I, I think that feels like the correct face to be pulling in this situation. Anyway, that's enough fooling around, enough playing games. It's now time to crack on with the serious, serious projects in today's Hermitcraft episode, which is the complete redesign of my base, in a way. I mean, we're, we're adding some serious elements here. So, uh... As I say, it's going to be totally experimental. I'm just going to start chucking blocks around and we're going to see what this begins to look like. I'm terrified. So, experiment number one has been placed in place and... Ah, uh, it's, it's too tall. Hmm, that's, that's so... This is going to be really, really tricky, by the way. Oh, I wonder. I mean, I've just come up with an idea for a potential new experiment. <laughs> but it's not one that I'm going to do right now, which would be to have a diagonal almost connecting these two things. Like this to that corner there and have... Re that could look really cool if, one if we do that. Because that will encase the entire base. And then maybe we could even have like the middle points going up into a bigger floating diamond. Hmm. That's one to think about because this looks rubbish. Experiment number two is now in. The second one, I've left that one up there for reference just to see the difference in height. Better. It is better, but still not great. Hmm. So the idea is, is that we'll have these diagonals which come up to meet a diamond which is going to be floating similar to this one, just replicated again, flying above up at the top here. But the more I look at it, the more I don't actually want them directly stacked on top of one another. I almost feel like we need this diamond to be slightly bigger, but then it will cover this design. Ah. One of the other ideas that I had is to have the strut kind of coming out the hole in this area here. So almost like the middle ground between those two, but even that's not going to work. Hmm, maybe vertical expansion might not be the way to go here. I'll be honest, I was getting a little bit fed up with having to imagine what this looks like. You know, what it's going to look like if we did build another section. So I gave up. I gave up on doing that and I built, I built the entire thing again. So let's just... If we take a look over here, yeah, it looks, it looks pretty crazy, doesn't it? I mean, it's taken me hours in MC Edit in a completely survival version of this world. Yeah, what I thought I'd do is this is something that I've never actually done before and I didn't realize you could do, but I managed to find something on the internet which allows me to download the local chunks. The local chunks of your survival multiplayer world. So this is actually downloaded from the Hermitcraft server. You can see the world just ends there, but I've actually got, I've got a single player version of my base and this is going to allow me to quickly pop through into things like creative mode and test things out that I otherwise wouldn't be able to. For example, getting this thing flying above my base. Right, now we can do some serious, serious testing. And you know what? I mean, I've come up with an idea that may, it may be totally ridiculous and stupid. I'm not saying that this is a good look in the slightest. It, it looks a little bit crazy to me, but we might be able to do something interesting. Let's just say interesting with this. Speaking of things being interesting, because I've copied this over into another world, this is no longer a guardian farm, which means that mobs can spawn in it and just look at that for a death trap. Wow. Anyway, here goes ridiculous idea number one. Now that we're actually off the Hermitcraft server and playing in creative mode, we can afford to be a lot more ridiculous with our plans. And <laughs> this one's definitely ridiculous. Um, what I was thinking is, is that we could build some real big struts that are holding up this thing that are in these corners here. 
Hmm, it's gonna be interesting. I mean, I just want to see what this looks like. I just I'm really curious here as I'm getting this thing finished. I've realized something <laughs> Just give me two seconds and I need to place in these final few blocks of packed ice That that looks like a table leg doesn't it This looks like a great big coffee table again. I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's just a table surrounded by tables. <laughs> no. Oh, that's so annoying. Because I quite like the idea. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run with it for the time being. Surely to see what actually happens when I allow myself to build something odd. <laughs> uh, I kind of want to see what concepts come out and I want to see if we can actually make use of any of the ideas that come of this. So we've got we've got a sort of crazy shape going on there and then maybe what I was thinking is is that underneath this we could then create some form of shape that comes down like that to make this inside area a little bit more interesting. I'm a little bit concerned because now that I'm getting some quartz in I'm kind of starting to quite like the design. <laughs> if we just place in that, that has definitely improved things. Man, it looks like a kind of, it looks like a crazy futuristic space base. It really does. Uh, no, I don't, I don't like the top section though. I thought I'd add in I mean, I was thinking maybe if I could pull that into a spike, it could look quite cool. It doesn't look terrible from the outside. I don't know if this is just because I played a lot of Minecraft today, because things are looking good that maybe shouldn't be looking good, but it doesn't, it really doesn't look good from this angle here. So tricky. These are weird shapes to play with. Okay, you know what? I think I've come up with an idea because as I mentioned earlier on, I've been doing this for ages. I've been messing around with all sorts of different designs, playing around with different concepts in my head, sitting, staring blankly at the wall, trying to come up with ideas. To be quite frankly honest, I think I think I might be going a little bit block blind, as in I don't know what looks good anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you guys to let me know down in the comment section what you think to this. In fact, I'm going to put a poll on the video. Is this something that you think is interesting or should I move on to something different? And obviously, if you say that I'm going to move on to something different, then we can pop into the creative mode testing world again in future episodes and try our best to do some wacky stuff to the base in creative mode again, because it's actually, this is really, really good fun. But anyway, let's pop back onto the real Hermitcraft server now and crack on with some projects. But before we do anything, I think it's time for another AFK fishing session because as mentioned in a recent Hermitcraft episode, we need tons upon tons of books so that we can do our quick kits. Let me grab my fishing rod. Right, we're back on the server. Let's see what we have got. So let's see actually how far we filled in. Firstly, up to there, not too bad. Mending book again. That's our fourth mending book. I think in this entire collection so far and We've got a few other pretty beastly ones. There are no books in there are they? Wow, but efficiency four. That's always handy to have Depth strider three amazing Mending again. That's another mending book Okay, we have quite the selection at this point in time We might be getting to the point where we can actually start doing some enchantments of things. Nice, okay, well that's brilliant. That's absolutely fantastic. Uh, now let's head up to the town area because I want to do a little bit of work over there. But before we do that, I think I should quickly take down my rubbish experiments that I constructed. That experimentation phase didn't go so well, did it? Now, as far as the actual build itself is concerned, I'm actually trying to work out where I want these builds to go. I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe some of these ones. So we have the little market town here. Uh, by the way, I'm really liking the way that the town is coming together at this point in time. I know that this is one of those projects that has been a little bit long-winded and sometimes I, I don't spend enough time on it really, but I, I'm enjoying kind of dipping in every now and again. And I'm thinking this area here could be perfect for some like sea view hotels. I think if we could build some 
some hotel kind of buildings. They'll stand up quite tall and they'll have balconies kind of overlooking this area. That would look really, really good. That would be like perfect for this spot. And then all we have to do from there is this. Okay, there's still quite a lot to do. Oh! That was a big one. Wow. Th <sighs> Creepers seriously pack a punch, don't they? That has wiped out. <laughs> Half my house is gone. So once again, we're going for a fairly similar design with our hotel area. And this is what the front is going to be looking like. So I've created, I've created the bottom section and I've placed in all the spruce wood there. And then out the front, we've got those little slabs. Now those slabs are actually going to be the balconies. And I have to say it is looking really, really cool already. I'm a big fan of this. This looks brilliant. It has now got a creeper on it though, which isn't isn't perfect, especially because for some reason I don't seem to have a bow on me. But thankfully, now it's daytime, but it's actually going back into nighttime again. But this entire area is now all fully laid in. So we've actually got the structure itself, as opposed to just one big front panel. And I've placed in some of the bone blocks on the front. So this should give us a good idea of what this thing's going to look like once it's actually substantial. And the answer is, it looks pretty cool. So look, you can see we've got our balconies out the front there. Uh, yeah, that looks really great. I would love this view, by the way. Can you imagine how cool it would be just being above the dock? looking out upon that thing, whatever that may be. I mean, can you imagine this thing in real life? That would be ridiculous. As far as the roof design is concerned, so we're going to be using a similar design to what we have going on over here. But this, this has only got a two. This is like a double one. Whereas this one over here is actually a six, a six peak roof or a three peak. Yeah, so we're gonna have three of these peaks and it's going to go across like that. So I need to work out. So that needs to, we need bone going up from those corners and it's going up three blocks. Okay. So it turns out I've actually messed up. I've, uh, I mean, I thought we had six of these, but we've actually only got, we've only got five of them. So we're going to actually have to extend out this build. So we're going to have to add another one of these modules. It shouldn't actually be too difficult. So that's going to be slightly further along. So this is actually going to end up being pretty massive. It's a massive hotel. Okay, that should now all be fixed. I've added another section and now I've placed in all of the roof peaks as well. So this should give us a good idea of how big this place is actually going to be. And the answer is, yeah, pretty huge. This is a big build. I still need to put the balcony in. But this is, yeah, that's a big old hotel. It does look cool though, and it's definitely, it makes the town feel a lot more full, which is definitely very good. And just as a quick progress update, part one of the roof is now all in place as well. So I've worked out the shape of how this thing is going to be looking, and then what we'll have is we'll actually have like a crisscross of slabs going across. So we're going to have a line of slabs making their way across the top right here. And then we're going to have lines of slabs coming from these ones as well. And in theory, it should end up looking like quite a cool roof. So let's see what this is looking like then. This is a big old roof. Oh, wow, it looks cool. Yeah, it's really difficult, by the way, to do this section. I hope, I hope that I'm doing that right. Although I might be able to actually do something a little bit different there. Because that is... Yeah, that looks a little bit strange to me. So maybe if if we push, punch these out, punch this out, and then have just the stairs go there, that means that we'll have a flat island going right the way across the center. It will be quite big, but it might look a little bit better than having those kind of strange peaks. That looks quite cool. Yeah, that looks a lot better. And then we could even match up. Oh, my brain isn't allowing this to work in my head. I wanted to match up that to this. So that would mean that this goes here, I'm guessing. So if we have it going there. And then this wraps around like that. Or would it be... <laughs> I think it's something... I think, I think I want to do something like that. Yeah, so then that matches up with that. And then from there, it goes upwards. <laughs> there we go. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Right, now let's see. That took way too long for my brain to actually work out. 
Okay, I think that I think that side looks better. Yeah, so we'll move that across and then we'll do the other side. And there we go. It is now all done, completed, done and dusted. The hotel is finished. It has its little flower boxes on the sides there. The roof itself is all done. All of the windows have been put in. All of the finishing touches and everything like that have been in place. And I have to say, yeah, I'm, I'm really, really happy with this thing. But I do think that at some point in the near future, we're actually going to have to head over to the town and do a really big cleanup operation. Because just looking around, there's, there's quite a few little bits and bobs that need changing and things added to and things like that. So things fixing up, essentially. We're going to have to do some general maintenance. But for now... I am really chuffed to bits with this place. It's looking brilliant. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this episode on the Hermitcraft server. If you did, please show us that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later.